Broken bodies and mines are a familiar sight in any conflict zone, but after 40 years of war, many Afghans have known only conflict and suffering. At the International Red Cross Centre in Kabul, tens of thousands of Afghan civilians disabled by fighting have been treated. Many come every day. Humaira was caught in crossfire between government and Taliban fighters in Faryab province. A bullet lodged in her spine, leaving her paralysed and unable to care properly for her two-year-old son. There was a fight. I was trying to flee from my street and this happened to me on the way. I felt the sharp shock and fell down. I don't remember what happened after that. Nowhere is safe, especially from suicide bombers. The capital Kabul has suffered hundreds of attacks. In the last 18 years, 38,000 civilians have been killed in the war, another 40,000 have been wounded, and those numbers are rising as fighting intensifies. So far this year, a record number 4,000 Afghan civilians have been killed because of the war. That's almost 70 every single day. And more and more Afghans are saying that if they had the choice, they would leave the country. Yet most European governments, for example, are refusing to give them sanctuary because they don't consider Afghanistan to be dangerous enough. So people have to endure. Afghan affluent are able to survive the hardships, but an estimated 54% of the population live below the poverty line. Wali Mohammed and his wife and four children have just arrived in Kabul after fleeing the fighting in Helmand province. He's having to build a shelter from mud and rebuild their lives. But he's not expecting Saturday's presidential election to bring any improvements. We need shelter, water, plastic and food. There are people in this camp that don't have food for tonight. President Ghani has made promises in the past, but nothing changed. That's why many have lost belief in elections. They say they only believe in food and survival. Abdulaziz fled to Harat from his home in Baghis province because of heavy fighting. He and his wife and six children survive on handouts. Home is now a mud hut. Elections are meaningless to us. We need security. We don't care if it's the Taliban or the government or whoever. We just need the fighting to stop so we can go home and start our lives again. Usually elections in Afghanistan bring some kind of hope, but for many there is now only fear and fatigue. They say they are scared of the war, tired of the hardships, and no election will change that. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Kabul.